back to Bake. We explored this great campus and its team. Now it's time for us to show you what went down on the court at the ZUBL preliminaries. The first game of the afternoon, the visiting McCarran University Sparks up against the Lady Cannons. The Cannons enjoying home court advantage, purity of the Ambo, going strong to the hall and getting the foul as well. The Sparks showing that they're here also to play, Nakazuba Sylvia nailing the three, and they were in it. The entire game was very, very tightly contested. Purity of the Ambo going strong to the hall, she had 20 points for the afternoon. However, the big lady from McCarran University Sparks, Lamuno Claire, also added 13 points to her game. She was having a fantastic game. She goes up and one, and the foul is good. Momo, also known as Maureen Amoding, nailed the three. The McCary University Sparks did an excellent job of moving the ball, and it goes round to Sheena, who nails the three. The UCU Cannons, however, continued to show that they're in it to win it. Purity Odiambo, post play, was excellent. She had 20 points, 12 rebounds in the afternoon. She did, however, have two turnovers, and that one, Lamuno Claire, met her play dearly. Claire had 13 points for the afternoon. The UCU Lady Cannons, however, continued to hold home court advantage, going on for the win, 57 points against 51. The men's game, Deja University up against UCU Cannons. This was probably the most electrifying game of the afternoon. Completely fast paced, all teams showing that they're here to win it. And Jonathan Aguero from UCU going hard to the rim. He had eight points for the afternoon. UCU were trying to make it clear from the beginning. Chuma with a fadeaway jumper, he had nine for the afternoon. All around a very defensive game. Both teams showing excellent defense and turnovers were not helping. Deja University going hard for the first break and Chuma blocks. Oh, that's a goaltend. That basket is good. Deja University making their presence felt on home court for the UCU. James Okello going strong to the hall. He had 11 points. He plays his basketball for City Oilers. UCU went into halftime with a 10 point lead, 31-21. Brian Namake going strong to the hall. Gets the basket good. Obukunyang going for the fake. Good basket. Deja University, however, did get their act together and Brian Odwar going strong to the hall. He gets that basket good to go. Captain of Ndeja University, Soro, going to the basket, takes the shot, nothing but net. The second half was a lot more competitive than the first. Jonathan Egeo there going straight to the hall, dishing out one of his three assists for the afternoon. Sunday caught, one on one, dribbling, shoots and nails the three. He had 10 for the afternoon. The fast paced game from UCU continued and the big man Ivan going strong to the hall. The game, however, believe it or not, did end in Ndeje's favor. Ndeje holding on to win it 55-53, and the first time that they have won in seven attempts on UCU home court. Ndeje's captain and one of Ndeje's big men, Soro Joffrey, this was probably one of the hardest fought games I've watched in a very long time. It never went past three points, never went past four points. You guys had traded basket for basket. How did you hang in there and with the team get the courage to win this? Uh, it's always good to beat a team like you see. It's a good team. We've wanted to beat it for a long time. So getting victory today was hard. So we have to, we have to stay in, do what we had to do best, which was pick boards, the rebounds, because they had bigger guys muscling us. Then we had to stop the three-point shoots. The, the, the three-point shots, they had a couple of good shooters, so I'd let them do other things apart from shooting the ball. Beating UCU, does that send a message to the rest of the team that you guys are in this to win it? Hell yeah, I think it does. So everyone should get scared. We're coming for you in your universities. Get ready. Up your game. You heard it. You heard the man, the big man. Sorrow. thanks a lot. I appreciate it.